I am Lalit Vasarist. In my previous video, I discussed what is a signal and uh, also very interesting daily life examples of signals. So now in this uh, lecture, I will tell you different types of standard signals. These standard signals are also known as singularity functions. So first of all, let me tell you what are these uh, standard signals. Actually, standard signals, uh, signal also called as uh, singularity functions, are the signal that uh, are realizable in the laboratory environment. One very interesting thing about uh, standard signals is that these signals can be obtained from one another by successive differentiation or integration. I have also written this thing here that these standard signals are realizable in the laboratory environment and can be obtained from one another by successive differentiation or integration. How these can be obtained by integration or differentiation uh, we will see it later in this video. So we will now discuss here some uh, standard signals like uh, step signal, ramp signal, impulse signal, unit doublet signal, sinusoidal, exponential and at last the gate signal. Okay. So let's discuss each of these signals one by one. So first of all, let's start with the, the step signal. Here I have written step signal. Mathematically, we can define a step signal as uh, here. I have written it. Okay. We can define it as FST. S stands for a step. Since it is a function of time, so I have written his, here uh, t. So f of t is equals to zero for t less than zero. For all the values of time which are less than zero, or you can say negative values of t, and its value is equals to k. Here k is nothing but the amplitude of the step signal, which is a constant value. So for t greater than zero values or positive values of t the value of the step signal is constant equals to k okay so here I have uh, drawn how a step signal look like so this is the diagram of a step signal here it is the step signal as you can see that it's a uh, value is uh, 0 for all the values of uh, time lesser than 0 okay in the negative time axis its value is 0 it doesn't uh, exist but for positive values of time t greater than 0 the value of a step signal is a constant value k since its uh, shape is like a step it it is having a shape of a step so it is called a step signal. One thing that you should uh, keep in mind that at t equals to zero it is not defined, it is undefined at t equals to zero but it is defined at other values of t except zero. Okay, now <clears throat> so this was the step signal. Now we will see the unit step signal. So what is a unit step signal? If we um, put the value of k equals to 1 here, k is any constant, so let's take k equals to 1, or you can say the unit value, unit means 1. So if unit value is taken for k, then it will be called as unit step signal. That's pretty simple. So it is denoted by u of t. It is also a function of time. So it is a unit step signal. So we can easily define the unit step signal in this case just uh, change the value of k to 1 so u of t unit step signal 
is equals to 0 for t less than 0 as you can see here also for less than 0 it is 0 and for t greater than 0 its value is 1 okay let's now discuss what happens when uh, we shift this uh, this uh, sh signal on the time axis so now we are going to shift this signal on the time axis we will shift each of these signals unit uh, step signal and the step signal one by one on the time axis see here as you can see here here we have represented a graph in time and uh, between time and the signal step signal so it has been shifted or we can say uh, it has been shifted or we can say delayed by a constant value a since it has been shifted to the right side by a constant value k so we say that since here the time is increasing in the right direction and time is of lesser values in the left direction so we say that it has been delayed okay since here suppose here it is equals to zero it is one two three so it is being delayed in time as we move in the right direction so delayed by a so we represent the signal as f of s t minus a if it is delayed by a constant value a similarly this step signal has been delayed by a constant value minus a or you can say a value uh, of a on the left side so it is called advanced by a since these values of time in the left side are comes before then the values of time in the right side so we say that it has been advanced by a constant value a so this is a shifting by a so we write it as fs t plus a since fs t minus like this t minus of minus a since this is negative value so it becomes t plus a here so f of t plus a it's very simple okay now we can define these uh, signals these uh, time shifted signals in mathematical form easily like fs t minus a the uh, delayed by a signal can be represented at, as uh, its value is 0 for t less than a and its value is k for all the values of t greater than a as you can see here it's for less than values of t uh, values of t less than a it is 0 values of t less than a it is 0 here but for values of t greater than a it is equals to a constant value k Early for the signals which uh, has been advanced by a constant value a uh, we can define that signal as f s uh, t plus uh, a its value is uh, equals to 0 for the values of uh, t uh, less than minus a and for t greater than minus a it is k as you can see it from uh, this diagram its uh, value is k for t less than minus so for t uh, greater than minus a and it is 0 for all the values of t which are less than minus a so this is the shifted signal okay which is advanced in time by constant value a friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.